as I was reading in the Bible concerning Noah and doing my math, I, I found something very interesting that when Noah was 500 years old, he found favor in the sight of Jehovah, being a perfect man, a righteous man. And then it said that there were three sons born to Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now, the interesting thing is that after you keep on reading the Bible, and if you keep track of the numbers, you find that Shem was the oldest. And, and after the flood was over, two years after the flood was over, Shem was 100 years old and had a, a son to whom the lineage of uh, our Savior came. However, then here comes the question. If Noah was 500 years old when he found favor in our father's sight, but his firstborn son was born three years later because there was one year of the flood and then two years after that, he was 100 years old. Shem was 100 years old. So if it was three years after Noah found favor, when did Noah become a father? And my thought came down to this revelation that when Noah received favor from a father in heaven, it, we find in the Bible this understanding, this mystery revealed when the man finds a wife. He finds a good thing and favor of a father in heaven. And so it was that when Noah found his wife, he became a father. He didn't have any sons yet, but he had a soul under his wing to love, to cherish, to lead, and to guide. And the revelation of the, what it means to be a father it came, it wasn't simply when you have a son, a children to change the diapers, to keep them out of harm's way. To, and that's part of fatherhood. But when Noah became a husband and caring for another soul, he became like a parent. It, it was like kind of like a relationship with a man is turned to his soulmate. It's like he finds his sister, he finds his bride, but if we go beyond that, because he also has a duty to, as well to love, but to protect and to guide. The role of a husband, a father, for the house is something of the priesthood, to be priest and king. So I find this interesting message concerning when Noah became a father, proven to every son, to every father, to every man. When we become a father, it, it's not when we plant the seed in the womb. It, it's not when that baby, the, the daughter, or that son comes out of the womb. But when the man must stand up for righteousness, take responsibility, to love, to cherish, to protect, to guide. He find favor in the sight of our Father in heaven. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, there's some other passages, a lot of passages about fatherhood in the Bible, but I'm keeping this short and sweet and to the point. Our Father's will is, as he said, the forerunner of our Savior, to turn the hearts of the sons back to their fathers and the fathers back to the sons. And so I'm giving this revelation what it means to be a man, to be a father, to be one who takes responsibility to love 
and to protect, to guide, even as our Father in heaven also loves us. That's, that's my message for today.